This was my last day in Finland and the last day of the conference. But before the conference, I wanted to go shopping in this really cozy Finnish indoor shopping area. Like they had food, they had groceries, really cool trinkets. But I was on the lookout for this really stinky and disgusting fish that you can only get in Finland and Sweden. And that's it right there. I can't even pronounce it, but I had a friend that wanted to try it out and she did and she was properly disgusted by it. Then I took some more time to walk around Finland and you know, it's wild. Like I'm walking and then I realize where on the map I am and and then I realized, man, I'm so far away from home. And it kind of got to me because I was just thinking about my geographical location. That's Samuli. He's the head of the entire conference. Very cool guy. He organized it. Um, and he's just a really genuine person. I'm, I'm honored to be his friend. And also, the Mexican food in Finland is so overrepresented. It's really good. And the end of the conference meant there was an after party. So I got dressed up for the after party, put on my freshest threads. And once again, I'm waiting for the bus, the free bus to go to the after party. I didn't, I didn't really understand where it was. I'm looking around this kind of suburbia area of Finland. And I finally found a place and look at this area, bro. They decorated it beautifully. That's the check-in area. And of course, any place that we have to take off your shoes is a good sign for a good time. This is the vibe area where you can just relax and chill if you're on any psychedelic substances. And this whole place was like a circus gym, I guess. And they just converted it to a huge party venue. A lot of salt lamps going up. And look at these jellyfish in the sky with a guy DJing and, of course, a trampoline on the left side and some interesting symbol. I'm not sure. It looked pretty psychedelic and trippy. And they had this guy rapping in Finnish. I didn't know what he was talking about, but he seemed like a vibe. And she was like this cyberpunk android dancing. Really, really cool. But I gotta admit, I was overstimulated at the party. People just kept on talking to me and I just wanted to sit and relax. That's Samuli doing his thing. But overall, it was an interesting experience. And then I had to take this very long trip back to Maastricht in the Netherlands. And it was very insightful because I thought about the idea of psychedelics and how psychedelics, yes, it has potential to change humanity, but it's just a tool in order to get people to have a very common story and to share a very common story. And that's really what we're doing. We're coming together and we're just sharing a very common human experience under the guise of psychedelics.